Yeah, yeah, you know what, Emmett, though? This is different because I know her, too. <laughs> wow. If Bix remembers something, that is an exactly. accomplishment. And Bix never forgets a chick, let me tell you that. Okay. Um, I, I will unpack that later. To another episode of the Kestrel Tavern. I'm your DM, Caleb, and joining us today we have the usual crowd, the indescribable golden voice of Leo. Hello, that's me. No pressure. All right, we have the spectacular and beautiful and altogether amazing Matt. Thank you. The intros just get better every week. I, love I know, it. right? Yeah. Um, we have the Damn near flawless Lily. Me? And we also have Shane. <laughs> oh, oh, I we, see how it is. <laughs> we we love and appreciate Rough. you, Shane. <laughs> Warts and all. <laughs> and um, also joining us this week, we have a uh, guest star. Um, if you would like to introduce yourself today. Hi, Jay. Uh, I'm a co-host on several podcasts, one that I do with Matt that you have over there, and I'm also a writer and a fiber artist. All right, and so um, with that, we're going to be starting our next adventure. On our last episode, the staff of the Kestrel Tavern had to deal with a series of unsavory guests and patrons that... They were eventually able to uh, convince politely to leave. However, um, all that's in the past. It's a week later, and it is officially time for the Kestrel Tavern's annual um, drinking contest. Whoever can drink the most consecutive... What's the word in this? Steins? Is Steins the word I'm looking for, guys? Sure, Stein, Stein's mugs. Stein's We'll go with wagon. mugs. Steins, mugs. Oh, wow. Who, whoever can drink the most consecutive Steins of uh, Sal's ale, <laughs> um, of the big set of the big Sal's ale, is uh, going to be declared the winner of the competition. Standing nearby is a self-portrait of last year's winner that was drawn immediately after they had won the competition, as is the annual tradition. So, currently gracing the tavern's fireplace, posted above it, is the tackiest drawing any of you have ever seen of Bix. It is... Most of the angles make sense, the color is correct enough, and... There's enough blue on the picture that you can at least tell who it's supposed to be. Um, beside it is a series of other self-portraits of Bix that were drawn after victories on previous years. One of which is being proudly held up by the bar mimic Stuart in easel form. Proudly showing <laughs> the uh, image of his hero. However, one thing that's of note, though, is that these four pictures of Bix do happen to be the only drawings of winners that are in any way even complete. So before, presumably, the winners of the competition may have found it a little bit more difficult to finish a self-portrait after having won this competition... If that speaks anything to uh, Bix's art skills and drinking skills, what's uh, each of you <laughs> doing to prepare for the big event? Uh, starting with uh, Bix, what are you doing today? The important thing to remember when you're in a competition like this is you can't go in with a dry stomach. You have to prime the tank. So I'm kicking back at the bar. I'm sipping a couple gin and tonics, maybe three, uh, before we get this rig rolling. That's the way you do it. Yeah, you don't want to go. You don't want to go too overboard. Exactly. Uh, so, Lily, what are we doing today? Just trying to get my bearings before the shift that I know is going to uh, be unforgettable. Uh, I don't know how much vomit <clears throat> I'm going to clean up, but I know that it's not a good number. So I'm just kind of 
following the uh, other bar workers around, trying to make it look like I'm busy and stay away from this guy. So we'll see what happens. Four years running. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. And uh, Emmett, what are you doing today? Uh, I'm just putting the finishing touches on the decorations, hanging some stuff, kind of grumbling under my breath because of what happened last year. Um, and so I, uh, you know, I'm not, Jonas knows that I'm not fond of this event, but to humor him, since he enjoys it so much, I do put on a happy face. And so I am hanging the decorations as instructed, uh, and, uh, just hoping no one projectile vomits this year. All right. And, uh, Jonas, how are we preparing this year? You know, it's a big day. It's one that I... I enjoy. I enjoy the spectacle. I enjoy how rowdy everybody gets. I think with the unsavory customers from last week, I'm a little cautious. You know, I, I know I know that things can get out of hand when people are drinking as much as they will be drinking today. Uh, but overall, it's a fun day. I don't have to personally clean up a ton, which is wonderful. Uh, and I'm hoping a lot of people comment on the tooth. Sure enough, the... Uh contestants are starting to come in starting to show their faces and um, begin their signups the so far the list that you've gathered it's gonna be, looks like it's gonna be about seven participants today which about normal maybe on the light side of normal but it's not unusual for the competition and a lot more spectators so it's going to be certainly an interesting thing. Um, as the uh, additional patrons start coming in, you do see another additional entrant that you hadn't expected. In walks the uh, human, uh, the human barbarian that you had met last week, Naomi. She does not have her companions with her this time. Mm. She. Uh, steps in she takes a look around peacefully without saying much she approaches you and just kind of waits for your response welcome back i hope you had a restful week are you uh you here to here to compete in the uh festivities today she like looks left she looks right she leans in she says between us i'm here to win wow confident I love it. Sounds great. Well, let me just make sure I spell your name correctly on this here list. I guess this makes eight people now competing. Yes. She, That's she's exciting. The, well, she's now the eighth. I know you have some some uh, some stiff competition, but I think it's going to go great. I wish you the best of luck. She like she like nods. She salutes. She approaches. She starts looking around and she studies kind of the previous portraits. From the four previous portraits, she's able to put two and two together who Bix is. <laughs> and so she kind of sneaks up to Emmett, puts a tap on his shoulder. So between, yes. you, and, between you and me. Perception check. Yeah. How beatable do you think this guy is? Would you like me to lie? <laughs> she pauses and see things. Um I'm gonna ha I am gonna have you do a perception check now. Sure. Mm, a two plus three, so let's go with five. So she seems a little inquisitive. She looks up. That was basically the answer she was looking for. She nods and, like, goes to take a seat near the bar and is just kind of waiting to see what happens. I shrug, and then I go back to finishing the decorations. As this is going on, Naomi ends up, like, shifting seats a few times. The place she ends up settling is the uh, table closest to the entrance which gives her a clear view of the next person to enter the bar. Bix and Zia, I'm going to have both of you roll perception checks. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's 
Oh, Ooh, look at you. A 21. All right. 21. And so we'll say Zia definitely or, uh, notices this. Fix. Let's double check Vix real quick. Yes. No, hit, hit, I'm on. 18. All right, so both of you notice her. As the two of you are going about your business in different areas of the bar, you suddenly notice a familiar face walk in. MJ, would hmm. you like to describe yourself? Is my description. Um, in Silver Dragonborn. I am a bard, so probably uh, light clothing, but bright, brightly colored. In walks both of them. You guys both recognize this as your childhood friend Zova, who you haven't seen in probably about 12 years. Long time. It's not that long. Pretty long. Nah. Okay. So how do you guys respond on seeing her? <laughs> um, where am I at in the bar? Am I behind like the counters? You're setting up the like decorations, outfit. so you're probably near the fireplace. You're you're near the fireplace, making sure that the doing what you can about the stains from the previous year's portraits. Okay. Um. Well. I make eye contact with Bix and then just kind of <laughs> break eye contact and beeline for Emmett and I'm like, hey, I don't want to harm you, but uh -huh. I know that person <laughs> that just walked in. I look around incredulously and then go, Zia, lots of folks know lots of other folks. <laughs> Um, if it comes as a shock to you to know people, I'm not quite sure how to help. Yeah, yeah, you know what, Emmett, though, this is different because I know her, too. <laughs> wow, if Bix remembers something, that is an exactly. accomplishment. And Bix never forgets a chick, let me tell you that. Okay, um, I, I will unpack that later. What can I help you both with? What is, what is up? The person who just walked in, I'm assuming, is who you're referring to. The other dragonborn, yes? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a friend of ours. Let's say it's a friend of ours. Yeah. Well, it's, while it's this conversation's friend. happening, yeah, Zova, do you want to roll a perception check? <laughs> oh, not even one. Give me a sec. Shut up, we've been talking about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My perception is... A nine. Womp womp. All right, so you see the you see the crowd shuffling around the bar. You see the uh, owner, who you assume is the owner, uh, sitting at the entrance waiting for people to walk in, see what happens. So, um. Yeah. Okay, so before I get back to my work, is there something you need me to do about the person who just entered? Is it a problem? Are you friends? Like, give me some information here, folks. Just let me know. If she talks about me. Okay? Same. Really? Both of you? Do I look like an eavesdropper? Never mind. Yeah. Don't answer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you baited that. Okay? Focus up, baby. Focus it's up. Time to go. Get to work. Boy, watch it, Zia. You're still the and newbie. Then <laughs> and then I bolt. I'm done. And I'm gone. I heavy sigh. And I just, I go back about what I was doing, and I keep an eye out on our new arrival. Alright, so what does our new arrival do? I haven't noticed anyone familiar yet. I'm just standing in the entrance to the tavern, I'm guessing. I'm trying to get my bearings. You, um, you, you're still standing in the entrance to the tavern. You, you see the crowd, and you're able to put two and two together about there's a drinking contest going on today. You said that the owner is waiting for more signups, or...? The owner appears to be waiting for more signups. I approach the owner. Howdy. Welcome to the Kestrel Tavern. How's it going? You doing well today? You here to, here to drink? Yeah, that sounds like fun. What's this uh, competition for? Is it for funsies, or is there, like, a thing happening? Well, it's for fun, it's for adventure, there might be crying, there will be laughing, there you, might be vomit. 
Na we'll see. Meanwhile, Naomi is walking up from behind, excitedly waving her hands in the air. It is to celebrate the most important day of our modern history. You can't tell how drunk she actually is right now. She hasn't ordered a drink here yet. So either this is just her personality sober, or she's already drunk. <laughs> and so she immediately plops down on the seat and says, The day Big Sal and her friends defeated the evil Draconic Council. That, Whoa. uh, yeah. So, uh, and also, this is our drinking day, where we all drink, and it's so much fun that we love drinking. And <laughs> last year, we drank, and today, we're drinking. And it's great. Welcome. Do you want to sign up? Yeah, we want to sign up. Fantastic. I'll, what, what's your name? Well, I'll write your name down on the list. Silva. Do you need me to spell that for you? I think I got it. Thank you so much. Welcome. Feel free to have a seat anywhere you'd like. You, you haven't mm -hmm. told us, friend, what it was like to be that. You, She, like, points to you. Do you not recognize him? This is the Jonas. He's the Jonas from the Kestrels. He was there. When the Kestrels was, was defeated. He was there. He was one of the people who defeated them. And, yeah, the king... King Edgar says all the things about who it was and that it was his men, but we all know that's a we all know that's a lie. You're right. It is a lie. She knows what I'm talking about. You, she knows what I'm talking about. I do. Uh, you see, my father worked for the king. He was the storyteller. He was the historian, the archivist. He kept the truth. And when that little band of Kestrels took down the Draconic Council and brought home news that King Edgar was the one who started it all, he wanted my father to lie about it. And my father's a good man, so he wouldn't. So, because he's a good man, we got thrown out. So, all for the truth. Hearing that story, Naomi, like, immediately turns around, throws a, throws a handful of coins uh, right onto the table, just yells, Two big sals! We drink for the Kestrels! Well, you drink for the Kestrels. I drink for the I'll, Kestrels. I'll drink for my dad. The Kestrels and her dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, amazing, uh, sorry for everything that you, your family went through. If you decide that you don't want to sit next to, this is Naomi, by the way, you haven't met her. <laughs> She's quite the personality. Uh, this, this first Big Sal's on mine, on me. Um, That's the nicest welcome. thing a friend of Big hope... Sal has ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have luck in this contest. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you're working. So are you? <laughs> I have. I. <laughs> yes, we know, Bix. We know. Are you ever? <laughs> yeah, man. And so, um, <laughs> the what is it? Uh, she holds up her. Uh, have you gotten her her drink yet, or have either of you gotten her her drink yet? After she, I have it? not. Okay. I have not. I, I am. I'm, okay. I get. Right. I get them. I get them their drinks. I get oh. the two big sals. Okay, so, um, she holds up her big sal, and just like yells at the top of her lungs, "Her big sal," and then just like knocks it the f back. <laughs> um, Emmett, I'm gonna I... have you do another perception check. Also, very quickly, I say to everybody, the contest hasn't started yet. Don't panic. It's not... This isn't... Okay. Just... <laughs> uh, 15. Okay. So, you didn't notice it earlier, and you didn't notice it the last time when she came in. But because of, like, the angle that, like, she kind of cranes her neck out when she leans back with the drink, 
the first time <laughs> that you notice, Naomi has a tattoo on her neck of the Kingsguards logo. You didn't notice okay. it. You didn't notice it last time, and she hasn't brought it up at all. But it's there. Okay. Uh, I uh, turn on my heel and walk to the other side of the bar to just look busy and work on some stuff. All right. So uh, we're getting to be. It's probably about ten minutes before the official start of the drinking competition. The uh, final preparations are almost ready. What are you guys doing in anticipation? Can I uh, can I ask a question? Can I roll a perception check to see if I uh, notice him looking busy and like trying to fake it? Yes, because I'm like trying to find a reason to talk to either of them. Absolutely. Her being here. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a four. So you're. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. <laughs> okay. I'm look. like, hey, Emmett, wait. And then I like turn around and he's just not there anymore. In your defense, the stains on some of these paintings are really freaking gross. Like, you thought they were drinks that got spilled after winning. They might not be. Gross. <laughs> gross. <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh, I don't notice him, but let's, uh, I just try to look busy behind the bar, getting things ready. Um, but I'm trying to, like, make subtle eye contact with anyone but Bix, because I'm, I'm trying to just avoid him in general and find a way to talk to either Emmett or John. All right. Jonas, would you like to do a quick perception check with advantage? Sure. Nine. Uh, advantage, uh, roll twice. Oh, roll yeah, twice. advantage and means he rolls twice oh. and take the higher. Sneaky. Here we go. 21. Wow. All right. There we go. So you, uh, you notice Zia trying to make eye contact with you. Huh. Hey, Zia, what's going on? Uh, wait, I forget already. Have I talked to you about this? No, he doesn't know that I know her yet, right? He, you, no, sure. you only spoke to me. He hasn't noticed, just no. you. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, so I'm trying to talk to him about her. And I walk up to you and I'm like, hey, so, you know, that chick just walked in and showed, all, showed us all up by, like, having a whole cool backstory and stuff? Yeah, I know her. Okay? And I need you to let me know if she talks about me. Okay. But don't tell Bix anything. Okay? He can't hear this, by the way. He's over there beginning drunk. I'm drinking. He's priming the tank. Priming the tank right now. Fix, roll a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> with disadvantage, what does that mean? I roll zero times? <laughs> that means you roll twice and take the lower. Roll twice and take the lower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 18. Come on. Shoot. Five. Uh, you, <laughs> no perception no, here. You, you don't hear this. You are priming that tank. Yeah, tank prime. I might have gone a little too far at this point. <laughs> Stuart, Stuart, at this point, has decided to assist you by taking the form of a slightly larger than usual Stein <laughs> to help you practice. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, so, uh, well, so far, anyways. she hasn't spoken about you at all. So don't worry. Shit. Uh, if you are worried, <laughs> don't, don't be. Uh, and help me get these glasses cleaned and lined up for everybody as, as yeah. the, uh, I think it's about, you know, almost time. Yeah, you're right. Time I should just time. get to work, take my mind off of things. That's, that's exactly. good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're way more helpful than he was. Have you seen the tooth today? The tooth looks great today, by the way. Can you tell me more about the tooth? The tooth I'd love to hear so about the tooth. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's my favorite. It's the wyvern <laughs> tooth. It's right there. You've seen it. We've talked about it. I know. It. We've seen it. We'll talk Naomi it. leans in. The tooth is the best. It's one of one of the few things I agree with Naomi on. <laughs> Turn around. Cool with Alice. That tooth is gross. You're gross. Naomi fights the gross. urge to punch base. <laughs> Visibly fighting the urge. Visibly fighting the urge <laughs> to punch fix. So, meanwhile, Zova, what would you be, what are you doing as the preparations are underway? The other contestants are kind of gathering at their respective 
places along the bar. Zova is taking a moment to kind of look around the bar and maybe notices the line of portraits. And I feel like that would trigger a moment of like, huh, interesting. So you, you definitely see, you see the row of portraits that this has been going on for a while. You see one of the employees is just kind of scrambling, keeping himself busy around that area. Um, washing dishes behind the bar, occasionally stepping out to like straighten a painting, scrambling back to it. Now that I have like this kind of visual confirmation that Bix has been here, I think now she's actively looking around to see it, like where he is. So, you you do see you notice both Bix and Zia at this point looking around the bar. Neither of them are hiding from you at this point. <laughs> um. So, Zova smiles and like does a salute wave to kind of be like, oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Just stop. <laughs> so what do, what do either of you do having uh, made eye contact? Um, I just kind of wait in order to react to whatever he does. Because I'm not really sure how he feels about her. And, and we're like, by, I'm on the other side of the bar of him right now. Just kind of like wiping around. But we're near each other, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, hey, look who it is. What's up? <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> the traditional dragonborn greeting. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's when we were very young. <laughs> What's poppin', Jimbo? What's poppin'? <laughs> and it's kind of like, just like, hi. <laughs> I gotta get back to my stretches, though. Mm -hmm. You really do. It's important to stretch at this point. You gotta stretch so, the uh, esophagus. The other contestants are lining up at their different locations. Naomi is Naomi is being like one of the last people to sign up. Is um like toward the end. At the very end is Yuzova, and then immediately mm -hmm. before, and then immediately like. After Naomi is Bix, and so it's like the three of you in a row, and along the other three is the other six contestants are also lined up along along the bar itself. Also, um, their lineup uh, is is Naomi close to me or further from me? Naomi is uh, Naomi is the furthest part of the bar from the entrance so close to the fireplace um, so closer to me yeah so close closer to where you were but you can move once she starts arranging okay i will i i i with intent uh shift to the furthest part of the bar from her all right she... and, and kind of pull my tunic up a bit roll... so like so you can't see my neck roll a stealth check Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, five. I'm not being very stealthy. At all. I remember you! Like, Naomi, like, waves you down. <laughs> it's like. Bad. So good. I, uh. To see I, uh, you. uh. It's good to see you too. I've got something's on fire i've got to go sorry and then i just <laughs> dash down the other way of the bar she's a little disappointed she like looks around she likes watching things on fire and she's a little bit disappointed when she looks up and doesn't see a fire so fair this naomi i tell you what mm -mm. <laughs> so she immediately plops down ready for the competition to start jonas are you ready to announce the rules so Okay, hello everybody. All right, thanks for coming again. Hope it's going to be a good year. Love it. By the way, has anyone seen Reggie? Hope not. Okay, moving on. Rules of this competition are simple. Uh, we've got big sals. You've already paid your entrance. You've you've you know, part of the part of the game. We are going to see how many you can drink 
Whoever can drink the most while staying conscious is the winner. We have the returning champion, uh, Bix, here, ready to... I mean, he's been priming the tank for the last five hours, so we'll see Tank's how today primed, goes. baby! He's the only one who's stretched. Maybe that's his secret to yep. victory. But uh, should be a good game. We have got Zia behind the bar. We've got Emmett behind the bar. We're all ready to serve you your big Sal ales. Sal's ales. Um, so let's get started. All right. So as you guys... Do any of you say anything to the other people near you as you take your uh, first swig of the Big Sal? Nope, it's time to compete. All right. Drink up. So, um, I want... <laughs> no so... one knows this, but I'm secretly trying to, and I hope that Emmett or Jonas noticed, get him as drunk as possible. I'm trying to blow <laughs> this for him. All right. <laughs> So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Bix and Zova both roll Constitution checks. Oh Boise. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking what my modifiers are. <laughs> uh, okay. Six. This for me. <laughs> Twenty. All Shit. Right. All, all of you, all of you, take a swig. Um, um Bix kind of like chokes for a second, but like he he gets it, he gets it down. The um Naomi shotguns it like nobody's business. You think she might be inhaling it? You almost feel the need to double check to make sure there was anything in her cup to begin with, <laughs> with how quickly it's gone. And Whoa. Zova is also able to take excellent care of her <laughs> drink. So, first round of drinks is done. Zia, it is on you to, like, lay out the next round. Alright. I just kind of try to be as suave as possible, sliding Zova hers. Should I roll charisma? I'm going to have you roll performance. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Straight to performance. That's okay. Wow. That's okay. Have you practiced? 21. All right, you know what? You you're able to channel whatever it was that came over you when you first came into the bar. You just have like this like air of like whatever <laughs> it is, like that, that je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je, je ne sais quoi. I don't know that spell. Je ne sais why. Je ne sais why. Say la why. <laughs> So, <laughs> you're able. Uh, which Sailor Moon character is that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so you're all able to. Um, <laughs> so you're able to, like, get them all going. You actually. You have, like. You also have, like, a little bit of, like, bartending, like, juggle as you're, like, sliding out the mugs. I see that motion again. What was that? Like, the. The, like. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. That bartender flair, where you like, Whoa. you're like, 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 like when exactly. I took drinks at work, <laughs> like sling, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like you're, you're like, little sl slinging them around a little. You got the perfect head of foam. This is like, exactly. Oh this shit! There you go. <laughs> I mean, like, filling drinks here. like this <laughs> over her back, like, woo! I was spinning yeah. in the chair. <laughs> you're, you're looking pretty good right now. This next, anyway. this next round I, is out, and... Uh, I fight it to her, but I just set Bix's down right in front of him and push it <laughs> towards him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's about to be time. Do any of you do anything before taking the swig? So I winked at Zia when receiving the drink. <laughs> the, um... So all the drinks go out. You guys... Um, each take a sip. I need you guys to roll another constitution check. Uh, mm, Eleven. Twelve. Alright, both of you are able to handle this one like champs. One of the people from, like, the further end of the bar, like, after the second one, just, like, 
taps out. Like, they don't even seem that drunk. They're just done. So there's officially one down. All right, well. Eight to go. All right. I'll clean up the mess. <laughs> yep. Get the broom. Well, they're not they're they're not looking drunk. They're just just done. Yeah, they're just like, you know, they had they had their two. That's their fill. They they know what today was supposed to look like. They decided against it. <laughs> All right, and Emmett, are you ready to spread out the next set? Yes. All right. Um, I do it efficiently with little flair and with as little eye contact as possible. All right. Classic Emmett. Baby. I'm gonna have you I'm gonna have you roll another perception check. Um uh twenty. Okay. So the second time as you're doing it, another thing that you started to notice, and this is like when you're up close to Naomi, something doesn't look right about her tattoo. You can't quite tell what it is. Um while we're here, I'm actually going to have Zova. I'm going to have you roll a perception check, too. Yeah! My dice went very far away. I can't see what it is. Oh, no! It's a two plus whatever my perception is, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. So you... Yeah, you don't even notice anything. But You, you have to trade me for the last time. You get a better look at the tattoo. Something doesn't look right about it, and you aren't sure what. Okay. Naomi looked like she struggled with that one, but she got it down. She's nods her head. She got it. Um, this was her um third one. Might be feeling it. Um, I'm gonna have the two of you also roll Constitution checks to see whether to see how you respond to this one, this third round. At eleven. Five. Bix, this is the first one that you felt a little bit. You're not out yet, but you sort of feel it. Like, I don't understand how this happened. All I had were three double gin and tonics to prime my tank. Like, how could this happen? I poured heavy. <laughs> Oops. Um, can I, uh, can I roll a perception again to see if I notice Emmett noticing Naomi? I'm just trying to find a reason to go up to him. I uh, really want to notice this, that's all. Uh, no, sure. You're, you can roll okay. a perception check. Don't hate me, because I want to perceive. Uh, <laughs> 18! Um, so you don't notice it, you don't notice that it's Naomi specifically, but you notice... Emmett looks uncomfortable, like he's trying to avoid eye contact with someone. All right, I it go might be you. Good enough. <laughs> I'm like, I'll take it. That's a well, good enough reason. Go ahead, Caleb. What were you gonna say? It might be you. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. You, you, well, he's avoiding eye contact with someone. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone else. You have no way of knowing. I go up to him, trying to just like point it I out, take... but like in a sly way, and I'm like, hey. How many was that? Like, are you even paying attention to what's going on right now? Like, that's that's how I'm putting it out there. Uh, I mean, yeah, there are seven or eight glasses left. This is the third round. Yes, I know how to do my job, Zia. What is right. with you today? I'm sorry. I'm head. nervous. Okay. You're doing a great job. If it's uh, the job you're worried about, you're doing a good job. I'm a bit of a hard ass, but that's because I know what Jonas wants. And I just want to make sure that you're doing a good job. But you are doing fine. I'm going to go clean these glasses, set up the next round, and I move on. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I was going to point out, you know, some backstory, but I'm just flabbergasted that he said something nice to me. That's, that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to go over here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And so Emmett um, uh, is getting ready for the following round. Meanwhile, Jonas, you're setting up round four. Absolutely. In what manner do you do it? Just quietly. Kind of stealing glances at the tooth, but generally being <laughs> present with the people. And uh, and just eager to see how drunk everybody gets. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, I'm keeping an eye out for, for Reggie. He's not supposed to be around, but 
it would be great if he stayed, not around. But yeah, I, I set up the drinks without yeah. without flair. All right. So all the the drinks make it out. This is officially round four. Do any of you say anything before uh, hitting this next one? I'm trying to. Is Naomi still in? She's still in. She's just Na Naomi's over. still in. Yeah. I slide her. I make sure that I like go up to her and like nudge her towards her and go. This one's from the tooth. <laughs> she like smiles and nods. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, actually, Zia, I'm gonna have you roll a perception check now. Oh no! Oh no! Out of your perceiving I shit. I can't perceive. Fifteen. Um, you do notice. You notice that she has the King's Guard tattoo on her neck. Oh so no! You would have been. You grew up. <laughs> you you grew up. Uh, you also oh, blew up, but you grew up close enough to the um, palace to know that that indicates that she either is or was a king's guard at some point, more than likely. Okay, I do know what this means. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I just do my best to try to make it look like I don't notice it. Okay, that's not important to me right now. <laughs> yeah. So it is time for the uh, fourth round. I'm gonna have you both roll your constitution checks. Uh, it's a lot of rolling the virtual die today. Mm -hmm. 18. All right. So, Zova feels... Back in a that, rhythm. Zova's starting to feel a little lightheaded. Starting to get a little bit more intense. Like, but not there yet. Bix, Bix is able to handle this one. He's He's got his groove back. So, um, you haven't regained your momentum, but you haven't lost any more. So... <laughs> That's good enough for daddy. And and Naomi's able Naomi's able to slide by again. Two people from the crowd kind of like pause for a second. In sync, the both of them run to the bathroom, do the little like stuck in the doorway thing, like squeeze through and then close the door behind both of them. So a minute or two later, they both come out, tapped out. They're done. They, that's what they could handle. A few more down, six remaining. All right. Weakness. <laughs> All right. Promoted Zia, it is your turn to arrange this next batch. <laughs> All right. Um, this one, I do it way more subtly. I don't, I don't try to show off because I feel like kind of an ass that Jonas and Emmett just kind of threw me. Oh, look, a bus! Poof! completely like they just didn't <laughs> like oh yeah here just drink up so uh i just kind of try to be as subtle as possible and just like set it down look cool and composed look, look cool and composed Kekoba. i'm gonna have Zilla, you yeah. cool i'm gonna have you do a uh let's do a charisma check for cool and composed i want you to roll for cool and composed <laughs> <laughs> i want you to roll for cool <laughs> this yeah. is shadow oh, rush it's a 14 <laughs> No, huh? it's nothing major. It's a fourteen, a cool fourteen. Cool fourteen. Okay, right. so uh, you're you're able to manage it. You're, you you <laughs> haven't blown anyone's mind, but like, keep it subtle, keep it real. You know, cool. You got it. All right. So, uh, cool. What, what do you guys do on seeing round five in front of you? I'm ready to go. I feel like I could get some momentum back this round since I did so well last time. All mm. right, Naomi is rearing to go. I'm going to have you guys roll your constitution checks. Ooh, nine this time. Twelve. All right. Naomi is starting to wobble in her chair. She got it down, but man, she struggled on this one. She is upright, but she's just going... I love you, Big Sal! Like, Somebody as she's drinking it, it, she might think this mug is actually her idol. <laughs> mm. And either that, or she's just pretending, and, like, forgot she was pretending. Like, how this is working in her head, you're not sure. But she's, she's having a really good struggle time right now. <laughs> Um, meanwhile, both of you, like, 
you're fe you're definitely feeling it both you're starting to you're starting to notice your limits in sight you aren't down from the count yet this is uh, this is starting to be the uh this may be the end game here all right um and then at this one you have uh, one of the people um that entered uh, flat on their back <laughs> like they don't even fall forward they are on their back like what make, a way to go they make Comical. it look surprisingly neat they're just sitting on the floor right now unconscious having a wonderful nap as <clears throat> as emmett is getting ready to serve the next round i go around the bar and i pick them up and kind of move them to one of the tables in the back kind of further away from the mm -hmm. the bar line yeah you're you're able to get them um you get you get them situated one of the one of the people at the table seems to know them and like kind of like has a water ready to like kind of help them for whenever they come to like yeah. they knew this was going to happen and they were kind of planning on it we're officially down to we're officially down to the final 5 uh, I prep the five glasses and start to distribute them. Um, as I walk past Zia, I lean in and I go, by the way, um, I haven't heard anything yet. I know you asked me to let you know if um, our new arrival has said anything. She hasn't. So just keeping you in the loop. And then I move on to oh, thanks, finish handing Emmett. out the drinks. That's strike two of the nicest thing he's ever done for me. <laughs> That's the nicest oh, thing that someone who knew a friend of Big Sal's has ever said to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I am, even if things don't go well as Ova, I'm, I'm interested in Emmett. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. So... Oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Zia, you, you do notice... Bix and Zova are both like, they're starting to feel it. Like, there's definitely, there's definitely like a lot of, uh, like, drunkenness going on right now. If you're waiting for either of them to get drunk, now might be your opportunity. While uh, Emmett's preparing the sixth and potentially final round, way people are looking. I'm trying to not very subtly spike his drink a little bit so i'm trying to get him with what more than strong but not noticeable amounts of liquor get a little a little bit more gin in there <laughs> a little bit a little bit okay. all right well i have find you it hard to believe sleight, it's roll such sleight a... of hand roll sleight of hand huh. uh. um, uh, i need sweet sweet it's 12 no it's a two <laughs> it's a two all right <laughs> So it's a two. you making me sad. Get this out of my face. Bring me real beer. Emmett notices that you put a little bit of gin in the mug that's meant for Bix. Fuck. I dump it. I dump it out, and then I put the the Sal's ale in it, and then gather the rest of the glasses up and bring them to the contestants. I'm sad it didn't work, but even more than that, I'm sad I let Emmett down. <laughs> All I'm right. not mad, Dia. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> That's even worse, Dad. That's even worse. <laughs> so, so I sadly bring. Uh, so, so here it is. I sadly bring a uh, uh, an ale to uh, Bix over here, and then I go over and I try to look pitiable to <laughs> to Zova. Mm -hmm. Like, woe is me. Please feel a thing for me. <laughs> but it's not I'm I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here. But, you know, maybe she'll pay attention to me if I'm sad. <laughs> so we'll try that. What do I roll for sadness? Uh, <laughs> we'll have that sadness. be performance. Let me roll performance. <laughs> I'm cuz I'm acting sad. I want her to care. Yeah. It's a 21. All right. So, uh You're all <laughs> sad. You're so sad right now? Yeah. Like I'm fake crying. You so are, hard. like, slight out-of-world reference. You're pretty sure Zia might have just watched Land Before Time for the first time. 
It was the first time. Why That's the saddest thing you've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> Tree stars. So as the fine, as the sixth round of drinks is coming out, any of you say anything on what could be your last moments of consciousness? I'm so drunk I can't see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why do you look like someone kicked your puppy? I don't know. I just, uh... I didn't expect her to notice. I don't know. But, uh, I, I'm just sad because it's been so long since I've seen you. And I, I haven't had much contact with anybody from, you know, our past. Not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, dip? Yeah, same. <laughs> can't say retweet, but, you know. Zova <laughs> <laughs> also leans around Naomi and says, Uh, Bix, when I kick your ass, do you think I could convince you to do the portrait of me? Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're gonna be... No. I. It, me poster me getting the poster he's so drunk <laughs> yeah he's not really convincing All poster right. me and then it is the uh, all right it is round six roll your constitution checks trying to pick which dice is least likely to betray me <laughs> okay we're gonna go with purple sparkles 13 Eight. <laughs> All right, so it's almost like like bowling pins. The other three plonk, 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 like <laughs> just down down from the count. Nothing remain. Nothing remains of them. Like one falls asleep and meet one like falls asleep at the bar, like with their face inside the mug. Like one just like. Spill one just has a protein spill like on the bar in front of them, and another one just like looks at it, smells it, and then like taps out and like kind of walks away and like starts stumbling away like they can't do anymore. Um, Naomi has hers down, she like looks for a second, looks to the left, looks to the right. I didn't win oh, Naomi is officially down <laughs> and it just how does she snore this loud <laughs> can we change seeds <laughs> someone plug her up with the tooth <laughs> what is it with this tooth it's, you're, you're welcome to ask this. Jonas that at any time <laughs> the tooth is gross. It's Jonas's favorite. It's just my like look at it. It's glistening. It's yeah, big. it's a tooth. I get it. It's a big, glistening, beautiful tooth. Uh huh. A romping battle. It was delightful. This might not be mm. the best time to explain it. I have some vomit to clean up. <laughs> Two people now unconscious on the bar. Uh, but I, you know, I'll tell you about the tooth sometime. Yeah. It's, okay, I'm gonna hold you to that. It's the the tooth is like alongside just a bunch of other just different like portraits and drawings and collectibles and trophies from the uh, the different adventures. Um, a lot of images that you recognize as specific to the Kestrels, but the tooth just has a moment a like large display of prominence behind the bar directly behind where Jonas stands where he can easily point to it. It's it also is, like eye level. It is so. it is an eye level. It so lovingly. It's it is weirdly large for a tooth. It. It's like the size of your it's fist. Big. It's like, like a, it's like a fist, a fist ball sized tooth. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's a large tooth. tooth. It was a large wyvern. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh boy. So it was what a story. And um, by the way, I, the, you said there are spectators, right? There are people watching. Yeah, there's the, like different. There's mostly they're mostly sitting in the they're mostly sitting in the uh, 
tables, but there's a handful that are just kind of standing on the floor. And they're they're just kind of like watching, cheering, just kind of the peanut gallery, as it were. As, uh, gosh, what was her? As Naomi begins snoring as loud as anything I've ever heard in my life, I, uh, I attempt to get a, one of the, the viewers, I like kind of, mm-hmm. you know, I get their attention and to, to help me carry Naomi just outside of the tavern, just, just to like set her down gently in yeah. the beautiful afternoon sunlight. A half-orc man, like, raises his hand and like, is able to help you just kind of lift her and she, he kind of like carries her out. He like appreciated. He Thank like not nods at you. Um. So, I joke with him. I'm not gonna have you help with the uh, with the vomit. That's that's, that's Sia's job. Don't worry. <laughs> the newbie takes care of the vomit. <laughs> the newbie takes. Well, really, really, picking the fruit the fruit on the ground, Jonas. All right. So, <laughs> down to two contestants. Both of them. Very, very, very close to their limit. It is Jonas's turn to set up the next two drinks. Any last words from either of you? It's not too late to promise to make that drawing for me. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I try. This is for all the beans. Roll the uh, constitution check. Please don't betray me. Oh, oh it hurt. It's hurt so bad. It was a seven. Uh, 19! Oh! oh. So. <laughs> Betrayal! Uh, Madness! You are. You are not unconscious, but you are officially at the point that you know you can't do anymore, and you need to acknowledge that to yourself. And Die. So, um, uh, you are very close to the limit. Emmett, you notice she's starting to stumble. Do you do anything to, like, check on her? Naomi is gone now. Um, I do. I check in, um... Are you staying in? Bix, Bix looks like he's doing all right. I'm checking in. Are you tapping out? Where are we at? Are you actually waving a hand in my face? Uh-huh. Zova catches you by the wrist and, like, ah. slams that down. Don't do that. Yes, I'm Noted. out. <laughs> Noted. Please remove your hand. No, a hand's near the face. As long as we're Noted. agreed. We are. Great. Please. I take my wrist back. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have a reoccurring winner. Your champion, once more, winning the Big Sal's Ale competition. The one and only Bix. Trying. Stuart has, in his proper mimic form, has like pulled up a um pulled up a slip of canvas in front of a barely conscious Bix and in his mouth is sitting a in his mouth is sitting a um like a sequence of like different just colored writing utensils and different forms of like chalks and inks and things to um draw with and he drops them like obediently in front of Bix and then like Forms a stool uh, right alongside for the master to do his job. I hate drawing. (laughs) Well, Bix, it's time for the yearly tradition. Draw yourself, sir. I will do that. Sleight of hand with disadvantage. Oh! (laughs) This ain't gonna be good. We got a six. And we got a four. (laughs) All right. So, (laughs) you almost draw your shape. (laughs) (laughs) You managed to get your color correctly. So, 
So while Bix, while Bix is drawing himself, any of the rest of you have anything that you're gonna do to like, kind of clear up, check on, check on anyone? Uh, I kind of announced to the room. I'm like, now that the competition's over, you know, as he's working on his new portrait, uh, business is back to normal. If anybody wants to buy an individual drink, and uh, Zia, when you can get a chance to clean up the the mess <laughs> that this customer left, I'll get right I on it. I walk over and I hand Zia a mop. You. I win! <laughs> there we go. Another perfect drawing of Bix to be on display next year with the other four. <laughs> Almost looks dragonborn. That's good. Bix yeah. wins! Bix, this, is tooth. this is a big tooth. That's close. That's yeah. the tooth. The tooth's good. That's the tooth. You... Shut up, no. <laughs> so... um, I walk over and I take the portrait from Bix and I hand the mop to Zia. So might as well get started. Thanks. Uh, I take the portrait and I walk over towards where the other portraits are to hang it along the rest. All right. All this having been said and done, what are we doing now, Zova? Zova approaches Zia as she mops and kind of watches what she's doing and goes, and to think you were a sorceress. I don't want to talk about it. I just kind of mop away from her. <laughs> all, all suave energy is gone. <laughs> okay. And do you do anything else, or are we leaving? No, I guess that's it. I mean, I try to have no. a conversation. And I kind of got yeah. <laughs> shut down. So. I go, I go up to her at the door, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm sorry. I'm just embarrassed because I was trying to embarrass Fix, and it didn't work." Fix does a really good job embarrassing himself. I don't know why you thought you had to help. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I used to make out with that chick. Yeah, so did half of our town. You're not special. Oh, good one. <laughs> oh, she really burned me. <laughs> but I win. <laughs> I'm speaking out and I cannot lie and I'm not gonna pretend to be anything else. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, well, I'm trying to save that conversation. Do you do anything in me? Um, I mean, I guess I step off to the side if, like, it looks like you want to talk. Hmm. Yeah, I ex just try to explain that I was embarrassed because, uh, trying to embarrass Bix in front of you, and I was trying to hide that I was nervous, but I just was, uh, frazzled by seeing you. Well, it has been a long time. I missed you. Aww. That's the third nicest thing to happen to me today. Strike out. Aww. I'm nicest. Yeah, I looked pretty nice today. <laughs> Does Bix notice us talking? Or is he just. I'm still really drunk. He's, he's, just he's still really drunk. He's, he is he's, admiring his work. artwork. <laughs> At least I finished that picture, man. Yeah. Roll zero dice, and then whatever number is lowest. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. a tie. Naomi stumbles into the bar. Walks up to Naomi's Zova. Naomi's back? <laughs> Naomi stumbles into the bar. Like, she's, like, regained consciousness somehow. Like, looks at Zia, opens her mouth to talk, realizes she's talking to Zia, turns around, looks at Zova instead. <laughs> You're kind of cute. I'll pretend I didn't hear the kind of. Continue. She didn't know how to plan this. Won't I get a drink when I'm sober again? Mm, talk back when you are sober. We'll see. She, like, walks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yuck. I'm like trying to figure out the secret of getting rid of Naomi that quickly. <laughs> just, just, just calculating. Like, uh, 
do I do? How do I do that next time? If you want to have a drink, I'll discuss all of my secrets. <laughs> You're just sitting there like, where was the tooth sitting when she left? Like, how do I get it? <laughs> how did I position right back? <laughs> Bix, any last words? I win. Uh, I win. Uh, I win. Uh, I win.